back out for another beach comb. I've only just started recording stupidly, but uh, I don't know if you can see that way. I'll show you on the way back, but there is the most driftwood and goodies I've ever seen washed up on the beach. And I wish I would have bought a wheelbarrow, but you know, live and learn. Cody's just had a nice bit of fossil wood and this is a bit of sea glass she's had. I can see myself coming back with a good few bits of driftwood today. But yeah, still got loads to look at and there's just wood everywhere. We'll uh, report back later. Oh, and I found like a piece of metal that I think could be a part of an aircraft because uh, it's made out of like a really, really light aluminium and it's got like some really nice flat rivets in it. But uh, I'll show you that one a moment. So uh, yeah, report back soon. This is how much driftwood has washed up this week after sort of three or four days of a north and it swung round to the east. And there was a northeasterly and it's really churned the seabed up. I'll show you some more when we get a bit further up that way, but there is just literally tons of really nice pieces of driftwood that would look lovely in the garden. But it's just everywhere. I've just never seen so many bits. Just don't know where to look. Wicked. Got that at the right time. An aeroplane. My little fossil hunting fairy. She don't know where to look either. She's spoiled for choice. She's found loads of good bits today. But yeah, beautiful. We woke up to a bit of snow this morning. That was absolutely freezing cold. We got down here about half eight. Yeah, it's been all the way up to the furthest point in the distance that you can see. That was uh, a bit like running the gauntlet because the sea was right right to the sea wall. So we had to uh, negotiate that, but uh, all good fun. All in a day's hunting, and I will uh, catch up with you well, later. Me and Kay are back today. Sort of, uh, we both spotted this. Lovely, look at that for a bit of amber. That is an absolute beauty. The size of that, that's probably about a couple of dice in sort of volume. Lovely. Can't wait to get home and uh, get a polish and a bit of that. Fantastic. What a find. First bit of 2023. I think it was last year. I think we found another bit that was sort of similar size, but wow. Don't often find this. This, this comes all the way from the Baltic Sea, which is miles away from where we are here in Norfolk. But wow. Lost for words. See you on the next one. Well, after that bit of amber, just heard this little bit of bone. I'm not going to be able to tell what it's off, but some uh, sort of feature from a few thousand years ago. Yeah, mineralized bone. See you on the next one. Next find. Don't know if you can see them yet. Hopefully, someone's not got lost without them. It's a bit of a walk back to the village. I'll take them back, chuck them in the bin. They're well scratched up. I think they're only just cheap reading glasses. Don't see any brand on them. Yeah. Kay's okay, up to go on the old gravel. Found quite a few bits so far and still got a fair ways to go. So uh, hopefully you'll report back with some more nice finds. I always buy something in the distance. Kerry hates. Well, it's not. I think it's just a bit of driftwood, but that looks like a massive snake. If that's made of wood, that's coming home with me. Hey, Kerry. <laughs> See you on the next one. Crikey mate, we got ourselves a bloody whopper. The old Sheila down there. Nah, it's only a bit of fossil. Uh, it's only a bit of driftwood. That looks smart though. Do I take that home with me? Doesn't look very snake-like. Hmm. Decisions. Well, we're back another fine centre of the screen. Can't believe we're now on the way home. This massive length of wood for my uncle Richie because he's making a fence out of it at home. This lovely bit of wreck wood with a nice dowel in it. Oh, we've we almost stepped on this. That is the tooth enamel part of a woolly mammoth tooth. You can see that there. Wow. First time I've ever found it. a nice piece. I'll get that home, I'll give it a clean. It's now raining as well. It's been a pretty decent day. So yeah, that's probably one of our last finds. I'll show you that when we're home and it's all cleaned up. Lovely there. So we're back home now with our roundup. 
This is, uh, uh, well, just the stuff from sort of like two hunts. Didn't finish last week's video off because the weather was absolutely atrocious. And uh, I ended up carrying about five bits of driftwood back. And uh, I lost Kerry on the beach as well. So she got home sort of 20 minutes after me as well. But I missioned her back with the driftwood because uh, it was very heavy. So uh, yeah, so if uh, Kerry picks some finds up for us and I will uh, show what we've got. So these are just literally the pieces of, uh, they're like the uh, bit where a branch comes off of um, a tree. But this bit goes in the trunk and they sort of weather out of the driftwood and they sort of look a bit like mushrooms. So me and Kerry keep hold of them. And we also find like little bits of driftwood like this. And we turn them into little mushrooms because they do look very sort of fairy mushroom like. So yeah, they're quite smart, so we keep them. Also found, what's she gonna pick up next? Ah, some bits of, uh, well, we think this is Jeff. I mean, uh, we've got some coal here and you can see the difference. See how that one's sort of very crystally shiny. These are very solid. And when you rub these on a bit of paper, the, uh, yeah, it just gives off a brown line. Whereas when you rub this stuff, it's, uh, well, it's black. It's, you know, black as coal. So we're pretty sure that this stuff is jet, which is quite smart. I think, yeah, they used to make like jet buttons and uh, ornaments and things out of this stuff. It apparently polishes up really well. So I might sort of see if I can black Kerry to polish a couple of bits of this and see uh, what it turns out like. So obviously got various other bits of detritus. We picked some bits of rope up. That I think is an old like lint brush, maybe for getting the uh, fluff off of your clothing. Hairbrush. Oh, it could be a hairbrush. But yeah, that's like rubber, horrible. Thought we'd take that off the beach because that's uh, crap and plastic. Kerry's pointing at something. Oh, this is a nice little bit of wood Kerry found. It's not fossilized, but I just like, the, they look like a fish. It's very fish-like, yeah. Yeah, so smart little bit of wood. Hopefully when it dries out, it doesn't split. And we could maybe turn it into a little fish, but yeah, nice little bit of wood. This has got to be the star of the show. Oh yeah, the star of the show, the bit of amber we found. That's only the second bit we've ever found, sort of beach combing. We found a bit, it was either last year or the year before, maybe when we were sort of unlocked from lockdown. But yeah, it's a lovely piece. I'm gonna get Kerry to polish the side on that later. So we can see if there's any inclusions, like any sort of Jurassic insects that we could maybe uh, revive mammoths with, you know. That was a random find. Oh, and there's a sort of random find. I think that's a bit of a lens off an indicator bulb off of a bit of plant machinery or, or a uh, sort of vehicle. But yeah, just a bit of plastic rubbish, took that off the beach. Oh, I found one bit of sea glass. Yeah, this carries one bit of sea glass for the day. Nice piece. Oh, I also found a metal ring. Ah, oh, metal ring as well, yeah. I think that could just be a rusty washer, but yeah, that'll probably go in the scrap. Right there, so there. Yeah, God knows. Just miscellaneous rubbish. Oh, this as well. I, don't, I, don't, I think it's a hair curler. What you wrap your hair around and then curl oh, it. Oh, could be. I sort of think there's no hole in that end. There's a hole in that end. I think this is maybe cheap barbecue utensil. That could have been one of them. A handle? Yeah, handle off like a fork or something that you do your sausages with. So that was down the beach and people barbecue down the beach around here. So that's what I'd say it's probably part Ooh, of. I've got a bone here. Yeah, lovely bit of bone. You, you can see the that. old bone marrow side here and that would have been the outer face. And then I found a few bits of... Yeah, she found a few bits of fossilised wood. Found that nice bit. Yeah, lovely. And then a tiny Another bit bits and pieces, yeah, nice little sliver there. And then my tiniest bit yet, that one. Yeah, that little diddy piece. Oh, there's another bit here. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. Another lovely little bit. You collect this stuff, didn't you, Kerry? I love it. And also, uh, we found some glasses. Yeah, someone's lost some glasses. I think they're just a sort of pound land special, maybe a sort of one times or two times magnification. But they've absolutely had it, so we're going to bin them. They're not worth keeping. You see, the lenses are all cloudy. Yeah, so I think that's oh, about it. Oh, yeah, found a bit of leather. Don't know if that's off an old wallet or a purse. Sort of like crocodile skin pattern. See the little oh, stitch yeah. holes there, actually. Now you're holding up in the sun, Kerry. But yeah, so that's a bit of leather off or something. I also found, most excitingly on the way home, which you would have seen, our last find, that is a bit of mammoth tooth. That's what you call a plate. So that individual piece there is a plate. This is a bit of a plate and there'd be multiples of these all stacked together, sort of about a foot long. 
and it would look like that from the top. Layers and layers and layers and layers of it. And that is a bit of a, well, sort of the mammoth or an elephant tooth. I can't really tell at the moment without giving it a proper clean up and looking at it properly. But yeah, nice find. Don't often find bits of that laying around. I've got some nice bits of tusk I've found in the past. Oh, but yeah. So uh, yeah, not a bad hunt. We also found that, that was uh, Took very that as well, looked very eye. Again, that's a piece of, uh, a sort of a knot out of a bit of driftwood. It's fell out as it's dried out and got smashed up on the beach. Might make something out of that one day. Also, if oh, you're looking and a little, for a clothes uh, sort of Gypsy's peg. <laughs> God knows what that's doing on the beach, but we'll we'll probably bin that. I don't think we'll uh, be using well. that. Don't no, think it's just a lid. It's nothing old. It's just a screw top lid. But yeah, that concludes our finds. I might pop a photo up of this later if uh, Kerry's got it in at a polisher side for us. And uh, yeah, I'll report back soon. Oh, and I can't forget this. My goodness, how can I forget this? We found this on the first hunt in all that bad weather. Kerry will uh, model it off for us. That, Let's get that up. is a piece of aeroplane. And I'm not saying that because I think it's a bit of aeroplane. I've actually had an aviation archeologist have a look at this and he has confirmed it's a part of an aeroplane. You can see here there's lightness holes to make the airframe a bit lighter while you know keeping the rigidity of the airframe and the strength whilst retaining your lightness Got all these little rivets all over it little flush mounted rivets it's made out of super lightweight aluminium as well yep lovely piece this has got a very dull curve on it so i got excited and thought could it be a piece of an engine cowling but uh the expert who looked at it he said it is 100 percent apart off an aeroplane but you can't confirm the model of aeroplane whether it was english german but uh yeah smart that'll go in my collection i'll treasure that i'm going to preserve that with a bit of renaissance wax i think it's the wing though a bit of wing yeah, it could well be the leading edge of a bit of wing because of the shape of it you just never know but a very 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 cool find and i was well chuffed with that so uh, i've done my research and where i found it um it could have been either an english plane or German plane, which uh, I've obviously got to research, but I should be able to tell by the way it's made. And, the, and rivets, uh, the rivets, yeah. The Germans and the English probably wouldn't have used the same building techniques. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to uh, identify it off of that. So yeah, hopefully I'll see you on the next video and hopefully we'll have a load of nice new finds to show you. I'll see you on the next one. Good luck, happy hunting from me and Kerry. Take care. Kelly's just started on the amber. She's having a go with some of that. I think she's 120. on one, 120 so far. Yep, yeah, 120. It's looking good. We're only going to do one side because I do like the natural look. But we're uh, curious to see if there's anything in it. So we uh, we watch a guy called too. Amberscape on uh, YouTube. It's His videos are absolutely brilliant. It's but he's, he's got us uh, sort of thinking, could there be any inclusions in this? It'd be cool if there was an insect in there. There, 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 yeah, see some bits of stuff in there, but we'll shine it under UV light when it's polished and we'll uh, have a look. So yeah, Kerry's doing a good job so far. I think we'll probably jump sort of up a bit of sandpaper next time, a bit finer and get the next bit of polish on it. But we'll uh, report back later. She's now on the 600. Got 1500 after that, because uh, we ain't got any in between. Yeah, it's getting there now, look at that. Hopefully we'll be able to see something inside it. I think, like I said, I think there's something outside one of those side. Hmm. But you yeah, should be able to see crossed. it. Through. We'll see what. Uh, I see something. Black, see what I the think. next grade shows us. All right, there it is. Minus the uh, toothpaste polish. It's got all these little air bubbles in it. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, look at that. And we'll uh, still shine it under a bit of light so we can see inside it. Look at that lovely bit of amber some interesting patterns in it hopefully there'll be something inside it and here's some of the jet it's not polished very well because we haven't got that sort of range of sandpaper to try but we've just done that with 1500 and i'll uh, give that a toothpaste polish as well but yeah that's lovely you can see why people used to make jewelry out of it, it sort of looks like a, a gemstone called onyx very nice yeah, just thought we'd polish up a bit of that, see what that looks like. That looks good too.